Hi, Bod here. This is going to be a very short video. Have you ever tried to insert a keyframe and you hit the letter I or you right click and it tells you at the very bottom, King set fail to insert any keyframes. You go all over the place, every YouTube guide, there's none out there. They give you step two. They make it simple. They hit the letter I and you get all these cool little options. But you don't get to see that option because down here at the bottom, you're unable to. A yellow alert shows up. Let me show you what they don't tell you. Over here above the timeline, that's this thing right here, you have what's called a playback and key ring. Key ring is the most important part. Left click on this. A box is going to open up and you have something that's written in here. Make it blank. Once you have that blank, I mean you can have what's like that, right? Because it says available. You get an error because it's a key bind, right? Well, you just hit the little X, delete what's ever there, hit letter I. <clears throat> you can now insert your keyframe. Then we can we'll move this up right here. Insert keyframe. I only use the location, rotation, scale, custom properties things. It doesn't matter. And you can see it going back. Then you can push play and you can see it going up. Remember, keyframe, remove all whatever's right there. That yellow feature will no longer be there. Thank you. Have a great day. That's the hidden step one that YouTubers refuse to give you on how to add keyframes in Blender 3.0. Have a great day.